everybody, Realm Builder Guy here, and welcome back to the channel in a new Crusader Kings 3 Dev Diary. This is now Dev Diary number 57, an eventful summer. Thank you to everybody that has been watching the Dev Diary videos so far, kind of updating people on what's going on. Of course, you can go and read this yourself. You don't need me for this, but I appreciate the fact that you watch, that you comment, and that you like. So let's get into today's dev diary number 57 an eventful summer this came out of course the 27th of april i'm recording this on the 28th i got a lot going on uh and and just as an explanation you know a few <laughs> quite a few less videos here over the last few weeks some of you may or may not know uh we're doing a lot of remodeling on the house on top of that, now over the last six, seven days, there's been a ton going on for me professionally, work-wise, and I just haven't had the time. So I apologize for that, but I am still working on creating some content. There's gonna be a change on, uh, I guess, the schedule for content, what type of content will be coming here to the channel. I'm gonna do an update video about that here shortly. But first, let's get into today. So uh, first, uh, another thing. I pronounced Azure, Azure. Now that's also because my kids are in the middle of taking Spanish and I'm also German and as well as American. And if it bothers you a ton, I can't really help you, but I will try to say Azure today. So uh, before we get into the meat of today's dev diary, I want to clarify something regarding the Azure patch. It's being made by a smaller group of CK3 devs in a strike team setup, which means that not everyone on the CK3 dev team is working on the patch. We hope that we'll still be able to address quite a few of your concerns. We won't have time to address everything. Still, keep sending us feedback as it helps us prioritize. So if you have feedback on the game, please send it over to the dev team at CK3. Uh, this dev diary will focus on one area of the patch and as a content designer, I am unsurprisingly here to talk about events and such. More specifically, I'm here to talk about some new content that we're including in Azure. And joining me in this dev diary is one of our con new content designers, Isabella. As developers, we are we all have areas of the game that we would like to expand upon and flesh out a bit. Two areas are now getting some love, childhood and lifestyle events. So childhood, let's get into this. Children always want to grow up fast and no child feels this more actually, actually, than the one that just inherited the entire realm at the mature age of six. More acutely, I assume, but actually, actually, anyway, German, I don't know. Oh, whoa, what can a young king do to pass long days ahead until he can scheme and murder to his heart's content? Play with other young rulers, of course. Azure includes a new activity for children called Meet Peers that will make childhood more interesting and full of experiences. Very interesting. You see here a gathering. Uh, Meet Peers is an activity available for children where they can gather all young rulers and courtiers in the realm to just play and forget about the dreariness of life as a child in medieval times. All participants will lose stress and increase their opinion of the host and the children attending the playdate can find themselves in fun and educational situations. Let's see, uh, here's the son and heir of my vassal and I are watching the Far East train in the courtyard. Okay. Uh, of course, there may also be any number of less wholesome consequences from bringing that many children together. Can't quite make out what this says, but he, he's not, he doesn't look happy. He, does, he doesn't look happy. And if socializing just isn't your thing and friends are easiest made and killed through schemes, we've also reduced the age restrictions for sway and murder slightly. Also enable you to live out your scheming rule forum as young an age as possible. Okay. So I think this is, is nice. It gives a little bit more for your kids to do or for young rulers to do to kind of evolve their character. I mean, the scheming, you know, CK3 already has this reputation as it's the intrigue game, not the military or big strategy game. It's an intrigue game. Uh, I disagree with that. I think intrigue obviously is a huge part of it, but it was a huge part of life back then and even today. Um, but I, I don't think it's that one dimensional adding more intrigue. Uh, I don't know if it's necessarily needed. 
lifestyle events. Or if your children can't just can't wait to grow up, you could let them try their fate fighting against grown soldiers in a tournament. <laughs> okay. In this patch, we have a couple of new lifestyle events coming your way, including the Tantrum Tourney event chain for martial authority characters. Um, so yeah, let your let your little kid fight warriors. Sounds good. Uh, Heim repented that he came there. A 14th century romance. Richard Caudillon on grown dukes and lords regretting each moment as they get impaled by a lance manned by an adolescent child. It's kind of funny. I mean, not funny, haha, but it is... Well, okay, maybe a little. A trope of romances detailing the life of Richard the Lionheart like to exaggerate the dates of his reign and present him as a king who was a child monarch. This seems to be done almost exclusively so he can be presented as perhaps the greatest demon of a child who ever lived. Child Richard is shown ordering all of his Nolan to fight him in a tournament on pain of death, beating everyone who turns up to a pulp. So, will you allow your baby's first bloodlust to be unleashed upon your knights, who certainly did not sign up for this? Keep your eyes peeled while your character is studying their lifestyle. You might see a few new moments cropping up, especially if you have war elephants. But what are you doing if you don't already have war elephants? So, that's it for this week. So, not an overly meaty dev diary. Adding this uh, meet the peers system for kids, I think, just adds some flavor to the game, to the, to the roleplay element of CK3, and really the flesh out the young characters in the game. I like it. Um, is it something that you know, really gets me excited about it, not necessarily, but it does add even more flavor to an already flavorful game. You know, people are saying there's just not enough to the game yet compared to end of live CK2. Again, I find that completely uh, over over the top because comparing the two just doesn't make sense. But if you look at early stage CK2 versus early stage CK3, CK3 is worlds past it. So judge it a little bit more in context. This adds some flavor to it, a fun little flavor. It's not something major to the game, but uh, I do like it. Let me know down in the comments what you think of this. And until the next Dev Diary, I am Realm Builder Guy, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.